If you use ESLint for your JavaScript or TypeScript project, the ESLint extension for VS Code makes it easy to fix multiple problems in a file with a single action. Here I've already installed the ESLint extension. Let's switch over to a TypeScript file that's using ESLint. And you can see here that I have multiple errors going on. All of these are related to semicolon usage. So here I can see, I see that I'm missing a semicolon. And this line down here, I have too many semicolons. And ESLint offers fixes for these. So I could go through and individually put my cursor on one of these errors, go over to the light bulb here, and say, fix the semicolon problem if I wanted to. So I could go through my errors one by one if I wanted to. But in this case, we have a few repetitive errors. So there's multiple lines that are missing semicolons. And if we wanted to fix all of the missing semicolons in this file, all we have to do is place the cursor on one of the errors, and then go over to the light bulb and say, fix all ESLint semicolon problems in this file. And this will go through and add missing semicolons anywhere that we needed to in this file. So we've gone and quickly fixed that. Now ESLint can also go through and automatically fix all fixable errors in the file. So again, there's a different error here, and that is that we have too many semicolons. So when we fixed the um, uh, missing semicolons originally, it did not go into and automatically fix that because it's coming from a separate ESLint rule. If we wanted to, though, we could have ESLint just fix everything in the file. So again, I'm going to go to the light bulb and then say, fix all auto fixable problems. This is coming from ESLint. And when I trigger this, you can see that sure enough, ESLint has gone through here. It has added the missing semicolons, and then it's also removed the unnecessary semicolons that we had on that line there. Now, not every ESLint problem has an associated quick fix, but for the ones that do, this can be a really helpful way to clean up a file. And it's especially useful, I find, when you enable a new ESLint rule and are going through your code base and wanting to fix things. So that's a quick look at the fix all actions from the ESLint extension.